okay, so now that we got the introduction out of the way, so the first thing, I'm just assuming you're new to speedrunning, whatever, you have, maybe you have done a speedrun of another game, maybe you haven't, so the first thing you always want to do when you start up speedrun is go to speedrun.com page probably, because there are all the recorded PBs, there are a lot of resources and everything, and the first thing you want is probably a timer and a game you want to play, and that's it. And for that, I recommend you to download Life Split, which is the thing you see on the left of my screen right now. Um, I'm going to explain you very briefly what um, Life Split does and what you should do with it. Um, just there's a there's a website. Go download it, use it. It's it's fantastic. Um, I'm going to talk you through Life Split a bit later in the tutorial too. Um, but yeah, the first thing you want for basically any game is. Um, Go into the options and set a few things that you definitely have to set. So the first thing, here's the setup of the game. Um, go into video settings. A few things that are important is dynamic glow should probably be off because this game has frame rate issues if you have it off. Um, light flares is also one that you should probably turn off. Leave this on, dynamic lights. It helps you on certain occasions in the game. Don't worry about it, but you probably you should probably leave this on. And this doesn't cost you much performance. For everything else, it doesn't really matter. Um, I recommend low shadows because shadows require a lot of GPU processing, of course. So these are the important ones, I guess. And then there's another tab, and that's the options tab in the setup. And there are some things that you probably should also consider is turn slow motion death off. For obvious reasons, <laughs> it's slow. So it looks really cool for casuals, but turn it off. Um, the second thing you might consider turning off is third person view for guns or first person view i'm sorry so this makes you switch into first person every time you choose a gun that is not very convenient in this game in i'm going to talk you through why that is a bit later but i probably recommend turning this off and probably everything else doesn't matter you can play this game in any language you want there is no version difference it doesn't matter if you play it on 1.0.0 or on 1.0.1.0 uh, it's only a multiplayer patch and the Steam version always comes in 1.0.1.0, as you can see here. Uh, this is a modded version, but it's only modded for multiplayer. So this is the version 1.0.1.0, as you can see. Okay, so that's the version. Um, that's all I'm going to talk you through here. Another thing, um, you, you can check sensitivity. You can basically check anything here. There is a, You can bind your force powers. All of that is going to come in later, I suppose. So the second second thing I want to talk about is the console. So fortunately, we were blessed from the developers with a nice console. You activate it. Look into my noteboard. It's on the bottom left. You can see my inputs. It's shift and tilde key. And this opens the console. And the console has some really, really nice things we can do with it. Also some really bad things that you probably want to stay away for speedrunning. You can cheat really easily with the console, um, which is really nice for practice, actually. Um, so a few things that are important with a console and that are also required for the speedrun, um, the rules for it you can find on the speedrun.com slash jka leaderboards. There's a rules tab. And so the first thing you see, I have an FPS counter at the top right and it's locked, it's hard locked to 125 FPS. Um, you want to do that. And how you do that is you type com max FPS 125. You can set it to any value you want, so you can lock your game at 5 FPS if you want, but it's not very fun as you can see. Um, and how you display it is you type CG underscore raw FPS 1. And there it is. The other thing is the timer. You want to display the timer too. It's all also required for the speedrun because you can uh, actually um, speed up this game very easily with a console. In order to prevent that, you, you write CG underscore draw timer one, and that's the timer. Another thing this game has, which is really, really convenient for us, is cheats. So you can activate cheats with help us OB1. So now the cheat server is basically activated. You can also deactivate it again with putting it on zero. But we're going to leave it on one for this tutorial. And they're the, probably the most important cheats uh, that you want to use for practice and finding out stuff is no clip. The no clip makes you, well, it removes your clipping and it also makes you fly, so that's really convenient. 
next thing that's really convenient is give all. It gives you 100 force, 100 health, every weapon in the game, and also I think every lightsaber now. Not every lightsaber. So that's really nice. You only get the weapons and 100 ammo for that. It's really nice. Um, yeah, there's also god mode, but god mode is kind of useless. And I would instead recommend you to use no target. And no target makes everyone uh, forget about you. So you can use people, push them around, whatever, have fun with the game without worrying about getting shot everywhere. So yeah, that's really nice. So another thing about the console that you will consider or you might want to consider is the bind command. The bind command is basically what you do when you go into the controls and you bind W to work forward, okay? And instead you can do that with a console. So for example, you can you can whatever, I don't know, bind mouse for uh, attack or something, whatever you want. And the reason why I'm telling you that is because I've bound a bunch of cheats to my hotkeys, or to hotkeys so that, for example, I can fly around easily with no clip and deactivate it. So I've bound that to F7. So how you do that is you type bind and then the key, which is in my case F7, and then you type no clip and you should put this into uh, whatever these are called. Uh, just do it, trust me. So you do that and then you have bound F7 no clip. That's how it works. So the reason I'm telling you that is not only because it's useful, but there's also a thing you basically need in order to play this game. <laughs> uh, it's the vit restart command. So the vit restart command is basically the command that get ex gets executed if you do this. So you change your resolution or something, and then there's the apply changes button. So when I press this, the game asks you continue, you press yes, and then it gets restarted. Okay, so... That is important because this game has a memory leak and if you load too much stuff into its memory and it runs full then the game is just going to crash right where it is. And you load stuff every time you load. Okay, So if I do a quick load and I do another one and another one and I do that 20,000 times the game is eventually going to crash. And the same happens when you load different levels. You go into like core 1, hey I just loaded every texture in core 1 into the memory and it's not going to get removed until I clear it with a bit restarting or just you know manually resetting the game and that is very slow so and really annoying and instead what we do is we use this command it's it's bit underscore restart and if i enter this into the console the same thing happens but i don't have to go into the video settings and what we do is um we bind this to a key so in my case i've bound rit restart to f9 so I do that, I press F9, and now the game is going to get a bit restarted every time I press F9. And that clears the entire memory, okay? So make sure that if you practice a lot and you quick load a lot, and also during runs, if you want to avoid crashes, then rem remind yourself that you should re restart from time to time. So that is really, really important. Uh, the funny thing is, though, on some machines, uh, the game somehow does not crash so it's entirely setup dependent and it's also the setup it's also the driver so sometimes when there's a driver update the game's going to crash more or it's not going to crash at all anymore it's, it's kind of funny <laughs> but yeah so much i think to the console so let me take a sip of water